I get asked a lot, how did you know you were ready to move abroad? Well, that's a big question because being prepared means being prepared in all areas, financially, emotionally, mentally, all areas. What I want to share with you in this video is how I knew I was ready to start taking action toward my dream of living in France. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you. If you're new here and you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. What that does is that notifies you each time I upload a video about life in France, moving abroad, or finding the confidence and courage to live life on your terms. I'm Patricia Brooks, and in 2018, I left my project management job, and I moved to the south of France to find myself. And I had gotten to a point where I was ready to take action on a dream I'd had for a few years. But how did I know I was ready? Well, at the time, it was a feeling I had. There were not these three things that I'm going to share with you today that were top of mind for me. But I think in sharing these three things that I can see now in hindsight can help you to see if you are ready to make a decision to make a move abroad and start taking action on that decision so that you can get to your dream country sooner rather than later. Okay. The first aspect of how I knew I was ready or how I knew I was ready in hindsight was that I was at a point in my life where I was ready for the next chapter in my life. Now, starting a next chapter in your life can look different depending on where you are in life. I was 51 years old when I moved to France. So I had had a fairly long career. I had gotten to a point where I was tired of that career and I was ready for something different. I wasn't ready for a career change because I didn't know what that was. I was also ready to learn French and become fluent in French. That was a goal that I had in my heart. And I wanted to write my second book and I wanted that second book to be about my life in France. And so I was ready for the next chapter, maybe the next volume, if you will, of my life because picking up and moving to a foreign country is like starting over. It's like starting a new book. And so I was at this, at this place, at this crossroads, ready for this new chapter. So as I said, depending on where you are in your life, that next chapter could mean you're ready to you know, go back to school and get a master's or a graduate degree. Maybe your next chapter looks like you are ready to change careers or start a business. Or if you're a little bit older and you are ready to retire, that could mean actually retiring and figuring out what you're going to do in retirement. So next chapter. So if you are at a point where you're ready for the next chapter or the next volume, then maybe you're ready to decide to make a move abroad. If that next chapter includes life in a foreign country. Okay. So the second thing that was true for me that I recognize now was that I had gotten to a point of being sick and tired of being sick and tired, being sick tired of the life that I had, being ready for something fresh and new, and recognizing that the pain of staying the same was far, far worse than the pain of moving through the discomfort of starting anew, of facing uncertainties, of the fear that I actually felt. I was at a point where I was ready to make the change. And People ask me, but well, was there something that precipitated your being sick and tired? Was there something that that happened or caused that? And I will say that I'd been dreaming about living in France and 
studying French, but not doing a whole lot more than that for three or four years before I got serious, before I decided and uh, got some help to make it happen. And the thing that precipitated my my movement into action was the political climate. The 2016 election, I was disappointed, but I was still hopeful that the president-elect would recognize the role that he had just won, the honor that he had just won, and would come around and become more presidential. Well, maybe I was a little bit naive, but I recognized that on Inauguration Day in 2017. That was a turning point for me. That was when I said, I have got to do more to make my move to France. It's something I already wanted, but I really wasn't doing anything to do because I didn't believe that it was possible for me. And so I hired a coach to move me through that self-doubt um, and figure out a plan to make it happen. So that was number two. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired and the pain of staying the same was far worse than the pain of the uncertainty and the newness of uh, a life in a foreign country. And I got pushed to actually do something about it when conditions at home just didn't suit me anymore. So that was number two. Factor number three has to do with having a vision for my life in France. I think that it's easy to dream about living in a foreign country, but if you don't have some specifics about where you want to live, what country that is, or what city that is, or what you will be doing on a daily basis in that new country, then it can be challenging for you to actually believe or see yourself living this dream. For me, I knew I wanted to be in a French-speaking country. I had eliminated Canada because of the weather, um, and I had focused in on Perpignan on a, an exploratory trip here. And so I knew where my new life was going to unfold. I also knew that I wanted to become fluent in the language, and so that would mean immersing myself in the language, whether that was taking a class, which I did eventually sign up for, um, or just being around locals and just immersing myself. I knew that that was going to be a part of my life. And I also knew that I was ready to write my next book and I wanted the topic to be my life in France. And so having an idea of what my life would look and feel like a vision for at least that first year helped me to see myself doing it, helped me move through the action steps I needed to take, some that weren't so easy, and got me to where I am today. So those are three factors that I think helped me to decide to take steps forward and make my life in France happen. Can you relate to any one of those three? If so, give this video a thumbs up. Now, I will say that I did get help to move through my fear and self-doubt by hiring a coach, a life coach to help me do that. And that was wonderful. That was the first couple of months in 2017. And then from there, I took it on my own. And when I transitioned to my new life in France the following January, I was doing it on my own. I wasn't still working with a coach. I didn't have a mentor. And so I was doing it all on my own. And I found myself in this tug of war where I was ecstatic that I had actually moved to France on my own. But then a couple hours later, I was feeling emotions of self-doubt and, oh, did I do the right thing? How am I going to make this last long term? And it was a tug of war and it was hard. And this lasted for six or seven months. Now, fortunately, I had my coach training. I had tools to use to talk myself off the ledge. Uh, but it would have been so much easier if I'd had help in doing so. And after my first year, I knew I wanted a second year. I wasn't quite sure if I was going to stay here longer than that, but I hadn't written that book. 
I hadn't become fluent in the language, so I knew I'd need at least another 12 months. Well, in my 18th month, when I bought my car and when I started doing things that felt more permanent, that was when I realized, oh yeah, France is home for me. This is where I want to be long term. And I started thinking about, well, what am I going to do to support myself, right? I was on this career break and um, that felt good, but I wasn't going to be able to do that forever. And that's when I got the idea that I wanted to start a business, a coaching business to help single women just like me who were ready to start the next chapter of their life in a foreign country. I developed this program to help them not only with the preparation, the stuff beforehand, but also in the transition once they've made their move and it starts to feel hard or it feels different or there's loneliness or whatever feelings come up for them, they can get on a coaching call and they can talk through what's going on for them, create a plan and move through that more easily knowing that they're not alone in this journey. And so that's why I created the Carefree Expat Incubator Program. Now, if that sounds like something you think could help you prepare for your move abroad and have a smoother transition to life in a foreign country, then we need to talk. I'm going to put a link to my calendar in the description where you can find a time that works for you. And we'll talk about where you are, where you want to be, and if working with me makes sense and can help you get there sooner and with more ease. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you again next time. Bye for now.